pigeon once. A beautiful white pigeon, a chirping bird, was told to throw it in the sky and watch it fly away. But I held it too tight. Like a trigger in the hands of a soldier, it felt so fragile. The prison guards say he is a chirping bird, a 14-year-old boy who shot a soldier in self-defense, never knew self-defense was only for men in uniform. Now he must wait four years in an iron cage before he can prove his innocence. Yesterday, his brother fell. He watched him fall. There's so much grace in a falling body, a thing in motion, a skin so tender, your bones shatter, open up the spaces between your lungs and your chest. I understand now what it must feel like to live. Living is breathing an open chest, and as his iron cage closes in on him, he wonders how lungs learn to breathe in such tight spaces. He was never good at throwing darts, always aimed high, but never at someone else, and this was no different. He thought he was saving himself, but you never understand death till you have killed someone else. The bullet in your chest, the gun held backwards, you never understand death till you have killed someone else. I killed a pigeon once. A beautiful white pigeon was told to throw it in the sky and watch it fly away, but I held it too tight. I felt it squeeze in my hands. I was afraid of pigeons and I squeezed it too tight. Perhaps the soldier was afraid of guns and he squeezed the trigger too tight. You never understand death till you have killed someone else. I killed a pigeon once and my hands wouldn't stop shaking. So I'm amazed how soldiers keep on pulling those triggers without missing their targets. Don't their hands shake? Yesterday, I watched the star shoot across the sky and wondered if it was aimed at his brother's chest. He is too young to be put on trial, but old enough to watch his brother fall. I wondered if he watched his brother's body explode into stardust, sending shivers into the night, if he held his brother's heart in one hand and a gun in another to see which was heavier. Now his eyes are stitched shut. He hides God on his tongue. His feet are landmines, lighting prayers in their wake. His heart is a firecracker bursting into scripture. Does that mean he is explosive? The prison guards say he is a chirping bird chanting prayers into symphonies. He keeps them up at night. So they've shackled him to silence, deemed him too dangerous to move but not feasible for prosecution. They do not understand that this wind is his voice. You cannot take it away. You cannot puncture broken glass into his body to make him believe he is shattered. Barbed wire does not cage his skin cage of body but only slits the skin and this blood is the only way he reminds himself that his heart is still breathing. You cannot cage him in iron hands. I killed a pigeon once, was told to throw it in the sky and watch it fly away but I held it too tight. His heart stopped beating. I kept on squeezing. Its neck fell to the side. I was too scared to let go. My hands started shaking. I did not know that pigeons are not meant to be caged in iron hands. They are birds of the wind. They are birds of the wind. I watched it fly away, but it didn't. I threw it up and it fell to the ground like stardust shaken off the unanswered prayers of a 14-year-old boy who chirped like a bird once. They must have squeezed him 